morning guys i decided today was going to be a vlogging day haven't done it in a minute it is currently 5 50 in the morning luca's up she's watching a bit of tv in bed while i do my makeup uh we have our kitchen guy coming today it is day two of our kitchen um remodel so they show up at 7 a.m which means I, I don't want to look like this when they show up so i get ready really early so i just put on my skincare routine and i figured i would take you guys along for the day quickly popping in to mention the cyberderm um tinted transparent sunscreen lotion best sunscreen i've ever tried in my life i know i've talked about it before in the past but I wanted to bring it back up and show you guys what it looks like on my face. So I just put it on now. It really doesn't cover much, but what I do like about it because it is tinted is it doesn't have the cast when you do flash, or when you take flash pictures and you wear sunscreen. I don't know about you guys, but sunscreen is probably number one in my skincare routine and I have to wear it, but I hate that it does that like white T-zone when you take pictures with a flash on. This doesn't do it because it has the tinted moisturizer. So kitchen rentals are still happening. So we're having picnics in our living room in front of the TV. Luca's having a sourdough bread with a little bit of Nutella on top. And um, well, nut free version of Nutella, which is really like seeds. And um, raspberries. Un shrimp. All right, today's look of the day. We do it in my closet now. Ralph Lauren dress, H&M shoes, half up, half down ponytail. This necklace is from Trend Savvy. It's mommy's and Luca Bear borrowed it. Anything to say this morning, love bug? This belongs to me. Yes, that one belongs to you, but the pearl one belongs to mommy. Good morning, guys. Good morning, guys. So I am wearing the H&M dress I bought this weekend. It's moo-moo-ish. It's not very flattering, to be honest, but it is very cute. Actually, I'm looking at it. I'm probably going to change. This does not look... No, it's, it does not look flattering on me, does it? No. Let me just change. Oh, I look pretty? Don't change. I look pretty? Thanks, babe. It's just very moo-moo-ish. I just dropped off Luca at school. I started doing some work. I have the kitchen rentals going on downstairs. So I'm working in my bedroom right now. Thought I would show you guys, I just realized I never showed you guys in action on a vlog or on YouTube, my pieces. So I realized I never showed you guys what a flat back looks like for my piercings with, for the earrings I made, the collaboration I made with um, Anzi. So I wanted to show you guys what the pieces actually look like. Well, you've already seen the pieces. What I wanted to show you guys mostly is what a flat back looks like. So when I mentioned flat back, see how my conch piercing here, my helix piercing, like I have a lot of piercings and basically a lot of people ask me, what do you do in order to keep your piercings and like, how do you sleep with like all these earrings? Like literally I have, I have a lot of piercings and um, my whole thing is, is I either have huggies or I have flat backs and what flat backs are, I just wanted to show it to you guys because I'm realizing that this is a con, it's common lingo for people who are used to piercings, but it's not for people who are not used to piercing. So this is what the back of the, a flat back earring looks like. So I, most of the earrings I wear are flat backs. If I'm not wearing a huggy, it is a flat back that I buy. And the way that it works is here. So this is what the post looks like. And this is the post that comes with the Anzi earrings. It's a gold post, which looks really pretty. Most of the flat back earrings actually have titanium posts and my collection with Anzi is a gold post. And the way that it is, so you put it in your piercing and it kind of works the other way around than, than an earring. And then your earring just has like a little needle and then you put it on top, see? And that is how it works. So when I tell you guys they're available in flat back or regular, regular is this. This is obviously what a regular earring looks like. It's a little butterfly backing, but you see how the post kind of sticks out. 
I always find that that like stabs you in the back of the ear when you're sleeping. The flat back doesn't do that, so you don't need to remove your earrings. So it was super important to me when I did this collection with Anzi that everything would be a flat back. I wanted everything to be kind of like a piercer, a curated ear person's dream. So basically you have all these earrings and you don't need to take them off at night. So all of these that I have are all flat backs. See? Even here, the way that you don't get a butterfly, it's a flat back. All of these are flat backs. You don't need to change them out and you can just like live your best life with all your earrings in your ear. So I figure I'll just talk about this here since we are, since I am getting a lot of questions, I figure while I'm putting away these earrings, let's just have this mini conversation. We'll talk about it once and one time only. I mean, self-explanatory. For those of you wondering, it's just Luca and I going forward on social media and it is what it is. It happened a while ago and we're good. That's it. For those of you who are concerned, I appreciate people reaching out. For those of you who are curious, here you go. And um, I don't, for those of you asking me why I don't want to talk about it, why I don't want to make a video about it, because this is not just my story. This is another person's story as well. This story is ours. And that's it. I don't want Luca to look back in 10 years and have all kind of stuff to like watch and gossip about. That's not, that's not who I am. You guys know what kind of a mom I am and that's how we're going to let it go. I hope that that answers any questions. Um, and I would appreciate just leaving at that priority. Number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 is Luca and her happiness. And that's the only thing that's important to me. Now that we've talked about that, Let's move on with the day. I'm going on a conference call right now. I'm gonna go put these away. Um, I'm actually going to change because it's like 45 degrees outside today and I need to wear something that is not long sleeves even though it's like light and airy. Not a good look for the heat wave. Ooh, also this mirror. I didn't talk to you guys about it in the vlog. I just mentioned it on Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you should. I'll put my handle here. You guys can go check it out. Um, this mirror is by Something Neon. It is a smaller version of that very popular one that um, was all over Instagram and something neon was able to source one for me so if you guys are interested i will put all their information down below it's not on their website because it was sourced but yeah i find it looks so good in here with a like with like i feel like this is my new dream corner kind of right here so we are stoop chilling my friend jess came to see me i picked up these glasses for her that she wanted that she saw in my video these are the ones that i'll show you guys what they look like after because i don't want to open the box but they're from Hogs, and they're right by me, and she was like, can you go check for me? So I picked them up, so she just came to get them. Jess, you wanna say hello? Hello. So Jess is amazing, she's one of my friends. She's also Luca's tutor. Um, she is a bunch of people that I know is tutor. We're gonna hang out on the stoops. She brought me Starbucks, and we're gonna hang out. So we're gonna do that. And then I'll show you guys what these glasses look like after. So these are the glasses I picked up for Jess. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you definitely saw these before. I picked them up at Hogs, and I thought they were so cute. I feel like they're such a great little addition to the bar cart. These are my vintage glasses from Amber and Smoke. This bookend is an evil eye. Actually, wait, is it dusty? No, no, it's just the glare. It's by L'Objet. I bought this on Farfetch. Vintage, well, this is Louis Vuitton. These are from Winners. I got this for my birthday from my sister last year, so I'll link them down below if I can find them. This is a decanter, also from Farfetch. I got this for my birthday last year. Beautiful flowers from my friend Jess, and then I felt like these just fit perfectly, and then we have the Prada chocolate they gave me. <laughs> so that's what my little top looks like right now. The things you don't see that I do behind the scenes. So as you guys know, I own a marketing agency, specifically a digital marketing agency, where I create content for a lot of my clients. And one of my clients has these really cool throws. Um, they're like a no-sew throw where you can like, it's like kids, like Luca loves them. And as soon as I showed Luca these throws, here, I'll show them to you after what it looks like. Um, she was like obsessed with it and um, 
Anyways, my client asked me to create some content for their website, create some photos, and I was like, absolutely, Luca loves them, this is gonna be so easy, but then I received the product and I need to make it, so I'm actually doing arts and crafts right now, which I kinda wish Luca was home because I feel like she would've loved doing this with me. Let me just flip it around to show you guys what it is I'm doing. So, this is what it is. They're like these like super cool like fleece throws, and you cut the sides and you create like these like knots and I'll show you guys what the end result looks like but right now I'm like cutting through everything and I need to do the knots myself because I'm creating the content like I'm doing a video of how to do this and then I need to take like a nice like flat lay picture of the actual product so yeah I'm doing this now behind the scenes so I'm actually doing arts and crafts for my job <laughs> Well, it's definitely your numbers look as though they've been down in the past three weeks, which is when I would assume if you're going to be spending all this money on doing these lead generating campaigns, you need to be the one benefiting. And I'm looking at your results. I mean, some of the results are fantastic, which means you're doing really good. Like your seven day click day rate is amazing. Your leads, like some of them are great. Some of them are a little bit less great. Um, so when you see results like this, this is where you realize, okay, I need to reassess. Is it the messaging that's not working? Is what I'm offering not clear? Is my, my call to action not interesting people? Okay, guys, so here is the finished kitchen. I just have to redo the top on top there. Let's see, you guys can just see it. So there's paint that's missing when they remove the border to wrap it. Um, it ended up ripping a bit the paint, but like, I, d I don't really care. This is what the end result looks like. So I wanted to turn those lights on so you guys could see what it looks like because I find those lights so beautiful and it is such a like beautiful like gold light. Let me show you guys what it looks from this angle. Um, basically what I did is we wrapped kind of like the frame of the kitchen and we replaced the doors. So changed the doors and the hardware. My hardware used to be silver. I still, I'm changing the sink and the counters. The counter that I ordered is back order. So I'm not gonna have it until October 28, unfortunately. COVID has really slowed life down. Um, I will link the company that I use down below, not sponsored, I paid for everything with my own money. And this is just what it looks like. I'll link also the table, the chairs, that's Wazoo. These Barcelona chairs I ordered years ago. They were at my office and I brought them back when I started redoing the kitchen. Um, I just find this room is now possibly my favorite room in the house now. I, I, I can't get over how beautiful this looks. Like I, I truly cannot get over it. The light fixtures are all Eglo Canada. I will link those down below as well. So proud that you stay in the lines of the flag. What flag is this? This is a Canadian flag. It's, this is the Canadian flag? Mm. It's not. It's the gay pride. We're doing pride flag. Pride right? Flag. Now so, I gotta cut it out. Okay. Um, can we cut it out? Please? Of course. Let's get you scissors. I'm gonna go to school with a Canadian flag, right? Yeah. Nana's gonna draw a Canadian's flag for you because mommy doesn't know what the Canadian's flag looks like. Okay, so can you actually look one up so I can <laughs> copy it? I mean, I'm Canadians, the hockey team, not the country. So you have your pride flag, you have your Canadian's flag, mommy's cooking dinner. I love this. That's Brussels sprouts, I know, they're the I best. So I mommy's doing a Brussels sprout. sprout. That's garlic. Don't touch that, please. I'm doing Brussels sprout slash pasta. This is what it is supposed to look like. Are you ready for dinner? Yeah. Let's get cooking. All right, so I'm putting the Brussels sprouts in the oven, boiling the water now. So I cut up some garlic, like big pieces, doing a roasted uh, pepper that I'm gonna chop up and cook with the pork. Now I'm making um, kind of, I guess, the base for the pasta. It's a breadcrumb, spice mix, um, olive oil, and cheese. Meat is cooking, pasta's boiling. I have to wait until this cooks halfway through, then I dump in the garlic and the roasted red peppers. This is gonna be bomb. Dumped the roasted red peppers and garlic in. Pasta still boiling. 
just put in the demi glaze and a bit of cream. I'm gonna let this cook a little bit and then I'm gonna dump in the pasta and the Brussels sprouts that I just finished over here. Yum! Definitely underestimated how big this would be, but here's what it looks like and I'll plate it and I'll put the topping. So my sister and brother-in-law just dropped this off for me. I introduced them to um, Summer House and they were like, Mal, how do you watch Summer House? And you have never tried this wine. So apparently this is what they all drink on Summer House. So I love Rosé, I love Summer House. So cheers, we're gonna give this a shot. Here, here, come and see your, um, Look, you see the kitchen. The <laughs> Cantaloupe. Look, we even see how beautiful the kitchen is from outside. Ah, I'm so used to seeing an ugly orange kitchen from here. Love it. Luca's little house, her little table. Luca Bear! What? Come! Nono's gonna bring me home. What do you mean Nono's gonna bring you home? That's my parents' house, by the way. We live here. <laughs> you just made the neighbors the dog bark. <laughs> no, no, silly. We're finishing off the night in the backyard. Our tomatoes are starting to come in. So we're gonna be doing some gardening while it's nice out. It rained like on and off all day. It was such a weird day in Montreal today. So anyways, I just wanted to say, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Don't forget to comment and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.